What's up guys, my name is Joe and welcome to Hairstyling into 2020. The best and the worst hair products that I've been using throughout the past year. This is the fourth consecutive year that we've done this best and worst hair product award show hosted by myself. At, at this point, it is officially a thing that we do on a yearly basis. This year, I wanted to change up the format a little uh, by showing you guys my most used hair products and the hair products that I use uh, the most in order to achieve my daily hairstyle. I wanna do this to show you guys what's been in my reliable rotation. And since I don't like to include Blue Mom products in the actual reward, portion of this section because obviously but everyone would be saying that I'm biased, which you know is true. Well, this lets me show you guys my most used products, my most consistent, like what I'm always grabbing without including Bloom on in the rewards section. So 2019 has been the year that I have embraced more shine into my hairstyle. Not overboard, but more than the past. And I found that this really helps me to tame my thick hair and control the poofy nature, especially later on in the day, and also rein in those frizz and that flyaway that can happen often with guys with thicker hair. So because of that, my consistent styling routine has changed changed a little bit this year. Most days I start out with Cloud Control Hair Oil by Bloomon and I use more than I would recommend to most because I'm wanting a little shine involved in the finished result. If you don't want shine, you can use less of this stuff during your pre-styling process to get the smoothness and the nourishing healthy benefits without getting that shine involved. More like a natural shine. It's obviously not a matte finish product, but you can definitely use it without getting that shine over overload is what I'm trying to say. It's also a fantastic leave-in conditioner treatment that you can load up. You can put a ton of this stuff in your hair, leave it there for a few hours, wash it out later on, and that's gonna be really nourishing and moisturizing for your hair as well. Unfortunately, uh, it's sold out at the moment, but we're planning on getting the cloud control restocked early in the new year. From there, a big change for me, uh, I've actually been using Fifth Sample Pomade as a very consistent pre-styler for me, actually more than original by Blue Mon, which up until this point, this has always been the pre-styler that I always use, and I still do use it, but I've been using this one more. Side note, Original is a fantastic pre-styler and what I would recommend to most people who are looking for pre-styling product, nearly dropped it, either that or the new Ascend Volume Cream. Uh, the reviews are starting to come in uh, and you guys so far seem to be absolutely loving it. I was thinking that this would be a banger of a product, it's looking like it is a banger of a product. Of course, these things are in stock if you want to check them out. But for me, fifth in the pre-styling process has really helped to add that smoothness that I've been going for in 2019. To finish off the style, if my hair is a little bit shorter, uh, I go in with some Monarch Matte Paste, which is, you know, has, it has some strong hold, but it's still a little bit lighter. If my hair is a little bit longer and I need extra control, I'm finishing off with Cavalier Clay. And yes, these are the mini ones in terms of the discovery kit that should be launched also early in the new year. So from there, let's get into this reward show, the worst products, the in the middle products, and the best products. And of course, I will have all of these linked down below. Starting with the worst, yay. Reward for the worst. These products should be so proud. By the way, I'm gonna be demoing all these products for you on camera as well, I'm not just talking about it. Honestly, outside of some of the budget breakdown products that I've showcased to you throughout the year, I haven't gotten my hands on a ton of terrible products, which is good. And because of that, I've got two. The first is Dove's Thickening Cream, which is supposed to give you a thick look, medium hold, and a natural finish. The reason why I've included this in the worst category is because, like I've said a few times now, I, I have done some extensive testing with uh, volumizing cream, Creams, thickening creams, lightweight pre-stylers that are supposed to give you volume and thicken your hair uh, because you know we were stacking up to see what we're against when we were making our own Ascend Volume Cream. And out of all the ones I tried, all the ones I tested, this one was the worst. The main reason is because when you're dealing with volume and thickening, you want your product to be matte finish because it's matte products that provide the volume. And if you didn't use much of this, then yeah, sure, you know, you would have a, a near matte finish hairstyle, but then I felt like you weren't actually feeling any effects taking place. The only way to feel like this product is doing anything is to add more, but when you did, you were left with much more shine, completely taken away from the thickening effect, and actually doing the opposite, making your hair feel more strandy and more fine. And of course, the target audience for this product are guys with thinner hair, so that's definitely something that you don't want. The second one, is L'Oreal Overworked Putty. And honestly, it's just bad. If you guys haven't seen my $5 versus $20 hair product video, um, I thought it was actually a pretty good one. It didn't get that many views, but I definitely recommend you checking it out because uh, I show kind of the decision-making process behind a lot of companies that are making budget hair products. And long story short, there's much greater priority on ease of use and application to appeal to the mass market and not so much focus on performance. This stuff is a great example of that. Easy to use, easy to put through the hair, but it falls apart in about half an hour. So from there, let's talk 
talk about some products in the middle category. First up, we've got this Malin and Goats, Goats. Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce this. I'm sure someone knows how to. You can let me know in the description or in the comments, I mean, but this is their uh, intensive hair conditioner. Now conditioners are tricky because there's actually a lot of budget conditioners that make your hair feel soft. So why would you spend money on a more expensive conditioner if you can find a cheap one that makes your hair feel soft? So even though a lot of budget cheap conditioners can make your hair feel soft, they're doing this using silicones. And silicones give the illusion of softness and shine by coating your hair in a seal that feels slippery when it's wet and also kind of soft, but actually isn't providing true nourishing benefits to your hair. It's just temporary, it's just for the feel, it's not actually doing anything healthy. Something like this on the other hand is chock full of amino acids and other healthy oils that truly do provide moisture and actually take care of your hair in a healthy way. After you shampoo, they uh, suggest that you leave this in damp hair for 15 minutes before washing it out, but ain't nobody got time for that. Just uh, just leave it in your hair. In fact, any conditioner that you use, leave it in your hair for as long as possible for the duration of your shower and have that be the last thing that you rinse out before stepping out. From there, we've got Mapalum, Mapalum Hair Cream. And this is kind of a pricey product, but you do get 8.4 ounces of product, so it's gonna last a long time. This one is in the middle because, first of all, you use this as a pre-styler, so you'd use it in damp hair before blow drying your hair. And the good thing about it is that it's chock full of healthy ingredients. So I would pretty much call this a leave-in conditioner. A leave-in conditioner being something you put in your hair, blow dry, and you leave it throughout the day, and it's adding nourishment and moisture. And this stuff definitely does that. The only downside for me is that there's no real other styling benefits. I don't get any control. I don't get any smoothness. It's mostly matte finish. It doesn't really feel like I added much to my hair, so I would definitely cocktail this with uh, something else during the pre-styling phase, which I didn't do here on camera because I just wanted to show you the results on their own. But from a health perspective, this stuff is chock full of greatness. And now for some of the best of the best that I've been using here in 2019. First up, I got introduced to this product right here when I did some content with Andrew Does Hair. He's a world-renowned world barber. He's honestly one of the best of the best. And if you missed any of the content that I did with him, uh, he gave me a haircut. We did an interview uh, and a best barber episode. I definitely recommend checking out some of that. And I'll have those linked down below. But his brand is ADH, standing for Andrew Does Hair. And the one that we're focusing on is ADH Dry. This product is great for the right person. If you're the kind of guy who likes a very natural finish, something that looks totally product free, but just adds a little bit of control, then this right here is your guy. What I like is that this product is marketed for exactly that. They're not trying to claim amazing hold, texture, all of this and that. In fact, Andrew wanted to make sure he stayed away from that because uh, he likes to focus a lot on the blow drain and the cutting and just add a little something to give you a little spruce there at the end. So this is for you guys that want that lightweight finish and control, but also matte finish. No shine. Going in the opposite direction, actually providing a good amount of hold and texture and all that good stuff is Dauntless Wax Cream. This is a fairly newish brand coming from Mike Smith, who does some of the most comprehensive and detailed product, hair product reviews out there. If you guys are into that kind of thing, you like to watch your reviews before you're making a product or make, making a purchase, I definitely recommend checking out Mike. The one that I'm focusing on that I really like from his line is Wax Cream. It's a perfect name because that is exactly what this is. It is a wax, so even though it scoops out like a cream, you can feel that grip when you break it down and apply it to your hair. Now, usually wax-like products have a good hold, but leave my hair poofy later on in the day. But I filmed my hair on my phone nine hours later, and as you can see, my hair has great texture and hold, but that poof is controlled. For me, pairing something like this, which is definitely more on the matte side, um, I think they say natural shine. Yeah, natural shine, it's kind of, kind of there in the middle between natural and, um, and uh, matte finish, but uh, I, I, it works best for me when I pair it with cloud control. And finally, I definitely saved the most surprising one for last. This product came as a huge surprise to me in terms of me, me not thinking that I would you know, ever use this again, but it's actually been what I've used the most often outside of my own Blue Mon products. And that is Suavecito's Firm Clay Pomade. I know, I, I'm shocked as well. I never thought I'd be saying this, but here I am and uh, I, I absolutely love this product. Let me clarify something up front. This is not for everyone. Even if you like hair clays, this is still not for everyone. This clay has a good amount of shine. In fact, more shine than most other clays on the market. But like I said, shine is my thing right now. And I find that this stuff provides such a good level of smoothness and poof control for my thick hair and has been such a reliable product 
that just works for me every time I use it. Guys with thinner hair or finer hair, you wanna stay away. But if you have thick hair and you're looking for something to provide a smooth controlled coating to your finished hairstyle, this is great. It doesn't compare to traditional heavy clays out there as well, the ones that you normally think of. You know, like Cavalier, uh, Our Own Clay, or Forte by Alex Costa, Claymation by Hans de Fuco, etc. It's not like any of that stuff. And for the majority of people who are, you know, into the hair clay world, you're probably gonna prefer that over this because this is kind of weird. It, it like, it takes a while to get used to. But if you fall under the category of what I just talked about, if you find a little bit of shine beneficial to controlling your overall hairstyle, this is just really good, all right? And uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Guys, this is the video that we're ending the year out with. Uh, the, that's, what, that's what we got. I hope that you guys have a fantastic Christmas. Take some time off, spend some time with some family, do something fun. That's what I'm gearing up to do now. I'm leaving to, uh, to the UK tomorrow. Well, tomorrow from what I'm filming anyways. Hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas and I'll see everybody in the new year.